So the other day I decided to go through all of my YouTube comments and because a few of my videos blew up, I had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of comments that I had to respond to and it took me forever. So I started to use chat GPT to respond to the question. So let's respond to this one because I seem to have missed this one. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to go to chat GPT and I'm going to make a new chat on the default GPT-4 and I'm going to paste this question in. I'm going to scroll all the way up and I'm going to paste this prompt in, answer the following comment with a short response, greet them first and make it casual and friendly. Don't use exclamation marks. So we're gonna do something like this and then see how it answers this question. Okay, that's a pretty good comment. You know, it's very supportive. Look at this, your English is pretty solid. Tell us about that. Don't worry, Zach, totally feel your frustrations. YouTube algorithm, that's fair. Your approach to checking out too, buddy. All this stuff is pretty good. I actually really like this comment. So I'm gonna take this comment and I'm gonna go back to my channel and then we're gonna reply with that. It's also hard. So look at that, I used ChatGPT to answer this person's questions. You know, it was friendly, it looked like it was coming from me. It's something that I would approve. And I thought, hey, let's make this an automatic process so that whenever a comment comes in, uh, I have an AI agent that responds to that in a friendly tone that kind of sounds like me. So let's create that right now. So I went to Pabli and we're gonna sign in. I'm gonna click Pabli Connect. And this is my YouTube comment responder workflow. So I'm gonna click into this now. And let's walk through the steps. So the first step is gonna be a trigger when there's a new comment on my YouTube channel. So because it's a free account, it's gonna check for new comments every eight hours. And that's perfectly fine. So that's three times per day. As they say, it's a completely free task. So it doesn't cost any of your connects. So I chose the app YouTube and the trigger event was a new comment on channel. You have a multiple options here and that was just one of the options. I also connected my YouTube channel and it's West Frank. It's the channel you're watching right now. And then I'm pulling 10 comments at a time. For my channel size, I think that's perfect. You can go all the way up to 100, but for now, 10 is perfect. And then I save and send a test request. So let's save that again. To make the comment personalized, I had to grab the video ID that the comment was on. So I added a step, list video by ID. So it works like this. The app is YouTube, the action event, it lists video by ID. And what the video ID is, is this 11 character number and letter. So if we're gonna go back up to step one, I'm gonna click this here again. Let's save and send a test request just to show you. It comes through and it grabs the most recent comment and it's something that I wrote. Click here to install Modic in even less time. It's one of my pinned comments. And up here, it shows the video ID that this comment was placed on right there. So in the second step, Pabli, I am grabbing that video ID that we got from step one and I'm pasting it in here because that is required for the channel. So let's save and send a test request to show that it works. There you go, boom, it grabbed that video that that comment was placed under, which is my install modic in under 10 minutes video. So perfect, we're on the right track. Step three is we're gonna ask ChatGPT to answer the question, so let's click in there. So the app is ChatGPT, the action event is to ask ChatGPT. I've connected my account. I'm using the GPT-4 model because that seems to work a lot better than GPT-3.5. Yeah, it's more expensive, but I want quality responses because I am responding as if it is me. And the prompt is simple. I go, you are Wes Frank and the YouTube video you made is titled and it's the video title that we got in step two. And then I go answer the following comment with a short response. Make it casual and friendly and don't use exclamation mark or emojis. Perfect. And then what I do is I grab the comment from step one which in this case, it's the click here to install Modic in even less time. It's my pin comment that I made on the video. So we can go test it out after and see what happens. So let's save and send a test request. And this is the response received. So I'm gonna scroll down and this is what we got. We got, hey there, actually let's copy this so it's easier to see. I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna paste it in a doc here and let's zoom in goes, hey there, thanks for dropping your link here. It's always great to see the different approaches to installing Modic. I'll be sure to check out your method and maybe I'll pick up a few new tricks. Cheers. Awesome. That's something that I would say and for that type of comment. So this go back to Pabli. So that's awesome. We're going to save this step. And the final step is we actually have to reply to that YouTube comment. So again, we're going to the YouTube at the action event is to reply to the comment and the reply text is what we got in step three for chat GPT. The comment ID is what we got in step one. And there is our full auto comment responder for YouTube. So let's save and send a test request, actually make it go through. And that means it is a success. So I'm going to save this step again. I'm going to close this workflow. 
and now we're gonna go on YouTube and we're gonna see that comment that we created. So let's go to my channel. I'm gonna to go to content here. I'm gonna search install modic. There we go, under 10 minutes. Let's view on YouTube and scroll all the way down. And here's that comment that we grabbed and look at the reply. Hey there, thanks for dropping your link here. It's always great to see different approaches for installing Modic. So absolutely amazing. I delete this because this is not what I want. This is my own comment I'm responding to. But yeah, that's our auto responder. So again, let's go through the steps. Step one is we're gonna get a trigger for a new comment on our channel. We're gonna get the video ID from that comment so we have some context in the question. We're gonna ask ChatGPT to write a reply to that comment. And then step four is we're gonna reply to that comment. We're gonna post it on that YouTube video. So there, that that is all happening automatically on my channel. If you wanna test it out, uh, it's running for this video that you're watching right now. So leave any type of comment that you can imagine and let's see what my AI agent writes back. Okay, peace.